Indiana Jones, Indiana It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute. This is the podcast where we get to the heart of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom one minute at a time. I'm Tom Taylor. I'm Pete Mummert. I'm Jerry Porter. And we are pleased to be joined once again by somebody who feels like she's never too far away, our old friend, Professor Christy Porter. Welcome back, Christy. Thank you. Good to be here, guys. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. This just in. Hi. My mom says hi, too. Yeah. Also, Could you please put it on the duck's mouth to say hi? Yes. <laughs> um, but thank you for joining us, Christy. We're here to talk about Minute 91 of Temple of Doom, which I'm sure you're excited about. So minute excited. 91 begins with... <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> uh, minute 91 begins with Indy reacting violently to getting a voodoo doll stab in the back, and it ends with Shorty rushing to his rescue. You know what's incredible? When, uh, wait a second, before we do anything, you mentioned that, Tommy, he reacts violently. Can anybody just do an imitation of that noise that no. he makes? I don't think so. <laughs> Pain. How about Ben Burtzel? He does, he does the most disgusting, scary... <laughs> Horrifying yeah. sounds for the next five minutes. It's just like, it's yeah, it's actually it's horrible. Not good. <laughs> good. It kind of has this like melisma thing. It yeah. goes up and down and like kind of goes through several scales. <laughs> you kind of have to stick your tongue out while you, while you're doing it too to give it yeah. a little bit of like. Whoa. It's very Mercedes McCambridge in The Exorcist. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I think it's kind of it's in like the key of horror. It is. Oh, it absolutely. Is. <laughs> We're listening to Harrison Ford die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's awful. Poor guy. What if he worked on that? <laughs> yeah, really. He just locked himself in his trailer and just bellowed, and like everyone just <laughs> slowly backed away from his trailer. <laughs> well, we all took a pass at it, and I'd say we all failed. <laughs> so, um, but you know what's incredible? When Willie asks. What's the matter with him? <laughs> and she's kind of got that Midwestern thing going on, uh, <laughs> which yeah. I like. You're like, sure. oh, yeah, she's from Missouri. Sure. Yeah. Um, you know, she's holding her gown up. So, yes. you know, like it doesn't get dirty. She saw a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, I, I think, uh, Chris, or, you know, you mentioned like David's bridal. She's got this bride's gown on. And she's just <laughs> like, she's down there in the Temple of Dune mine, and she's literally picking the bottom of her skirt I, I'm up. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's only so she doesn't trip. Although I I did note it. I did note that she was picking it up. I think but and and of course we all know that other people might have just ripped off the bottom of it. Other people might have. Just saying. I can imagine that. <laughs> Not <laughs> Willie <Yeah>. though. <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. Other people might have. <laughs> Nobody I can think of, but <laughs> You know, it looks like Willie's about to get run over by a mine cart. And I'm wondering, like, is Mm -hmm. there a deleted scene here? There's a whole series of deleted scenes coming up in the next five minutes. And this is part one. And I guess I'd preface this one, this this beginning this beginning part of it by saying, Who does it seem like in the final movie she's asking, What's the matter with him? Pat Roach. Yeah. It's which is weird because in in the script she's asking short round. Oh. It's right after Indy gets stabbed in the back, and he react. You know, he reacts and he stops punching back at Pat. Then she turns to Shorty and she she asks him. And I think they cut a whole bunch of this scene. I'm not entirely sure why, but it'll sort of intersperse the next five minutes. It kind of weaves in and out, and they I think they took what was left and edited it together to create what we have now. That makes. That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I I don't know what like the deleted scenes are yet, but I know that it's going to clear up almost every question I had in like the <laughs> upcoming minutes. It might. There's like a whole thread that I was like, where did this come from? Yeah. 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 Okay. And and in, and Shorty only starts climbing up the water wheel to get the Maharaja after she says that. Like she says that, and then Shorty's like, oh, that the that kid up there is doing it to Doctor Jones or whatever, and then he runs up to to stop him. Boy, is that not what happens? In this version, or he you does. But, you're but okay. in 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 the in the first version they had, she asks him that, and I think it kind of clicks oh, when okay. he, she asks him that. 
what, what I what's really strange is if you watch it one minute at a time, <laughs> then Weird. you you're like, Willie looks like she is about to get run over, and yeah. she says, "What's the matter with him?" And Pat Roach stops the pummeling <laughs> yeah. and and looks and right looks at, at her. her. Yeah, yep. and then yeah. he starts the pummeling to, again, like he's showing off to her. Like, yeah, that's like, his oh. answer. I'll show you <laughs> yeah. what's the matter with him. He's made out of marshmallow. <laughs> I would have thought it's obvious. I'm punching this guy's <laughs> lights out, but all right, I'll just show you. Brutalized by a recursive bruiser, or whatever his name was. What they call <laughs> recurring brutalizer. Yeah. Recurring <laughs> brutalizer. <laughs> but this this mind card is part of the, the of what they filmed. Um, and it's that same like splinter of the mind's eye red light mind cart comes rolling up behind her. Yeah, yeah. I love that reference. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> You're like us in the in the earlier version. Um, when you know, because we talked about that scene where they had the board across the lava pit and all the kids escaped and the board burned up before they could get out. And so Indy and and Willie and Shorty come back into the into the mines and they're looking for a way out. And Indy sees the mine carts and he says, oh, those empty carts must go out of the mines. Come on, let's see if we can catch a ride. And then the fight with Pat begins. Um, and here you you know, you know get the scene in this minute where there's another cart that dumps Pat and Indy onto the conveyor belt. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the, in the minute, there's this weird artifact that remains of right after that happens, Willie is pointing at the mine cart. Oh. Oh, yeah. In the first script, and I think in what they probably originally filmed, Willie pushes the mine cart up, um, and there are going to be several shots of her doing that in the upcoming week. because yeah. she's And she yells, I got one, Indy, I got one. And this is her finding a solution for them to get out of the mine. Oh, see, now can I talk about another minute now? Like a future minute? Because I'll just, I mean, because of what you just said, everything makes sense. Because uh-huh. later on, all my notes were about, who said anything about a mine cart? Why are they talking about mine carts? Why are they getting in mine yeah. carts? And why is yeah. this suddenly the way to get out of the place is by a mine yeah. cart? Yeah. yeah. And so there's this yeah. whole deleted thing. Where, that makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Okay. Where Indy realizes that that, and I'm not sure why you would think mine carts going down into a mine would be your way out of a mine. <laughs> right. No, but, that's an excellent question. I'm not really yeah. sure of that. Yeah. Because I mean, all the ki- we just saw all the kids, like a rush of kids just run completely unhindered through the through the palace and, and uh-huh. to, we presume freedom and safety. Although they ran across the lava pit, which is no longer an option. Oh, that's true. But that was cut mm. out too. So who knows yeah. what's real? If there had been an easy way out, they probably would have taken that rather than... <laughs> I see what you're saying. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and I would also suggest that the mine car actually doesn't have to lead out anywhere. It could just make a big loop, like at Cedar Point, maybe. Or, <laughs> or just dead end to like the right, the, the, the extent of the mine. Of the mine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then they just come back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, I, did did they delete all this because Harrison Ford hurt his back? Of course, I've, I don't. Yeah, well, it's our answer. There. It's the Ford. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go on record. I would have, you know, gained something from that scene. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some some pertinent knowledge. <laughs> I would have enjoyed it. Willie's a much different character in that if if you see the scene filmed as they had written it in the script, um, and we'll get into it more as the week comes up, but she's a lot less helpless damsel in distress, and she's more taking the initiative and in the in the forefront of helping them find a way out. Well, you do see she is more assertive uh, just in general in what we do see in these minutes. Uh-huh. Like she's chucking stuff at people and trying to help out and everything. But yeah, mm-hmm. like you say, we'll get it's, to that. Uh, yeah, that's debatable. I know what you're saying, but... Everybody's about to die. You know, like, <laughs> remember when he role. said, yeah. 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 So when yeah. is her absolute, you know, lowest lowest point, and, and does she turn around? Maybe this is the minute. You know, she's... <laughs> but then they cut out all of her smart stuff. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And right. she's got a couple of great lines coming up, too, that they cut out that I, I wish they'd kept Oh, in. really? That's yeah. too bad. But I wonder <laughs> if, like, being, you know, almost, you know, she just came back from almost being roasted alive in a lava pit. I wonder if that near death experience is uh it was the corner that she turned or something. And now well she's... when she says Indiana, Indiana, I think that that's um uh I think that might be her lowest point. That could be. She... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I like that uh, moment. Yeah, I, I like yeah. I yeah. Too. yeah. Yeah. Oh, could someone explain to me the rock crusher, the the philosophy <laughs> of the rock crusher? I have that exact oh, question. I I, I, yeah. I, I, I had that too. too. 
Because, yeah. I mean, not only, like, I, I've got, I, I guess I have two, qu- like, you know, why, why are you crushing rocks, for one, I guess. And the other thing is, your whole purpose in this mine is to find precious gems and yes. the last two mm-hmm. irreplaceable, ancient, holy, magical Sankara stones. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. there's got to be a point sometimes, ah, you big dummy, you put the Sankara stone in the rock. Garden. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Glowy diamonds all over the place. Glue that back together. Well, I, I think that the rock crushing machine, like it weeds out all the fool's gold Sankara stones. Oh, could be. <laughs> like, because I have a theory that the Sankara stones are probably, you know, especially they got diamonds. Like may, maybe you, they can't actually be crushed. Yeah, I wondered about that. They're oh, maybe. destroyed. So, so you get a lot of kind of. Oh, you're still making stuff up. <laughs> Ursots, that Himalayan yeah. rock salt garbage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they're all they're all smaller. I mean, most of them, most of those rocks are smaller than than the stones right so they're they just have to move it around right i don't think that's got to be like the actual place where they're looking for the stones when they're crushing them that would be that would just be dim that's just that's just not a good idea (laughs) well i think i think they might be crushing them as an object lesson for the kids because i mean you know how kids are like every every kid is gonna say i found it i found it 15 times a day Right, right, so right. I think they just take every rock that those kids turn in and say, look at this rock, kid. And yeah. they put it in the crusher. Here's like, what you got. Yeah, that's what you got. <laughs> Who's a tired parent? Who is it? Who is it here? <laughs> oh, my well, I, I don't understand how the rocks can bust because it, it looks like somebody's sniping them. <laughs> oh. right. I'm not saying I'm, I'm right here, but like as they hit the cement wheel or whatever it is, they, they like, they they explode almost. Yeah, they are. They're like explosive rocks. Yeah, that kind of makes well, sense. Well, you know, to it's me. it's not OSHA compliant. I can tell you that. <laughs> right now. This is not so. It's possible. Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> so my question on the the rock cruncher, I I thought it was more of a cruncher. Really. <laughs> it is. Um, whether true. it was good for 1980s on audiences, or if it was good for 1930s audiences, hmm. and then. Um, you know, we, we see it over and over again, and we've seen it. It turns out um, there's a whole lot of tension um, about who actually authored this trope. Maybe you guys didn't know that, but there is. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know. certain people looked that up to find out if this was good for 1930s <laughs> audiences. Um, it was called the Buzzsaw Drama. And of course, oh, you sure. guys know oh, about the... Um, yeah. Yeah, sure, we got film people here, so they know about the Buzzsaw <laughs> Drama. <laughs> And um, in uh, 1908, in the in the uh, there was a there was a volume eight of the theater magazine that reviewed plays for New York City, and uh, they thought it was the worst thing ever that somebody would use a buzz saw, um, and they said uh, uh, that the the review that I read said, but Mr. Ar- Arthur insists that the buzz saw is original with him. So somebody named Mr. Arthur thinks that he invented the buzzsaw hmm. and he seems to be proud of it. If his aim is to be a winning machinist, his pride is laudable, but as a writer of plays, it's fatuous. So good use of the word fatuous there. That's really good. <laughs> you don't use that much anymore. So that's 1908 and that's somebody claiming that they actually made this trope up, but then it shows up in 1891 and in 1891, it was much more popular because it was a uniquely American device and it got all sorts of, um, uh, let's see, the review that I read there said that the buzzsaw scene is the sensation par excellence of the play. Oh. And the rescue of the hero lashed to the plank on the gang never fails to arouse the audience to a height of excitement which borders on the crazy. I'm like, hey, that sounds familiar. <laughs> um, yeah. So did you? Let me ask. Did you? Uh, that's impressive. Did yeah. you already have graduation? <laughs> Are you on summer break? Little time on, your hands. <laughs> Little time on my hands, people. Little time. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So my question to you know to people the here here and now is whether or not this was a good thing to include in the scene i think so i think it's good i do too yeah and i know that it's a parallel to pat pat roach and the propeller scene which also is its own thing uh-huh. um uh you might remember it from such uh such books as the hardy boys number 20 uh from 1941 <laughs> mystery of the I flying express 20. right <laughs> yeah it's the best one yeah it's the best one yeah so you do think that it's a good thing to include 
I mean, it's 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 old timey yeah. and uh, and and tried and true. It's it's you know, oh no, yeah. they're slowly heading to this. Thing. It's like the yeah. garbage masher or something. It's like you know, something is slowly going to kill our heroes, and uh, there's nothing they can do about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose they could jump off the belt or something, and that'd be okay. <laughs> Although his back hurts, and he's getting stabbed by a voodoo doll. <laughs> I really did want to know why he didn't, why Pat Roach um, didn't jump off. Why didn't he jump off? He should have jumped off. Why didn't off. he throw Indy off or something? Yeah. Why yeah. didn't I mean, he is, throw is Pat Roach planning on killing him by Rock Crusher and just waiting for it to get there? Seems so. Oh, way, yeah. Right? Yeah. You think so? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think so. You know, I. Well, I then he deserves so. to yeah. get smushed. Yeah. That's a silly plan. <laughs> Uh well yeah yeah we we get to that I think that's a, a little bit later it is yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah it's a whole it's a beautiful set piece though like this whole it is. set is just spectacular like mm-hmm. it's huge and there's so many contraptions and you've got the water wheel that's powering this conveyor belt and then you've got the mine carts and it's just this giant intricate set that I, I think is absolutely spectacular and it looks it looks legit it, was, it, it doesn't good. look like a set it looks uh-huh. like they could have found a cave somewhere yeah mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yep. Yep. And who are these guys in the background? Like it, it we had these constant kind of stormtrooper guys watching Darth Vader and Obi Wan Kenobi fighting. Right. Yep. And they're they're constantly in the background. And I I'm wondering, A, why didn't they escape with the kids? Yeah. Like are they are they Larry's in training or are they guards in training? Or are they just <laughs> I can't yeah, I can't tell if they're kids or guards. No, they were they had to be guards. Why would they be But they're they not were dressed like guards. Be. They're yeah, I don't I can't figure out their role. They seem a little scrawnier than the guards. I don't know, and they don't have mm. they don't have uniforms like they're just wearing like those kind of traditional Sri Lankan pants. Miscellaneous <laughs> <Right>. staff, <laughs> not their yeah. job. It was not their job to help yeah. that roach. <laughs> yep, yeah. just follow their job to run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just gonna hang out until someone tells them what to do. But are these the same guys that got got hit in the head with Pat's hammer? Like they, I think they are right. They just oh maybe that's it. That guy. They, they were struck oh, stupid. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just hit Not like several of them. Oh, we only God. saw one hammer blow, but they were just <laughs> passing by. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of got coconut thwumped. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Christy, you mentioned the uh, the the propeller scene in Raiders, and I think there's a, a shout out to that here because yeah, when Indy cool. punches Pat, it sounds like he's saying Eins, zwei. Like, he's shouting in German, and you can't tell who's shouting it, but it sounds exactly yeah. like that's what he's saying. That's I think funny. it's a little. Oh, I, I, call I don't back even know if that's true, Pete, but I wish it were true. <laughs> <laughs> and the music is very. Uh, the music in this whole scene is very uh, truck chase ish. Mm-hmm. Yes, so in, like, yeah. the same same flavor. The same. Uh, it is. I you know I love that in miners rock paper scissors. <laughs> you know the the pick beats the shovel. Yeah. And the voodoo doll beats the pick. Because, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, Pat, Pat Roach, like, grabs the shovel, and he, like, he brings it down on Indy, and it's like, Kah! you know, and, he, yeah. and Indy mm-hmm. holds the pick mm-hmm. up, and you're like, oh, so that's how this little game works. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then Indy's literally going to impale him with that pick. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, vi- yeah. that's a violent action yeah. right there. That was going to be gross. I am yeah. almost glad that you got stabbed in the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> And then uh, I have a note here that, you know, points to Willie. She she makes a suggestion to yeah. Indy, and it works. It works out great. She hands him that, I don't know, like a gas can or something. It's a, it's a he... jerry can, and I have a whole theory about this. Oh, my God. What? Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just thought it was a round metal box. I'm sorry. Am I, I wow. That, I'm in the movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, your can is. <laughs> well, no, I mean, that was basically oh. it. I'm just, I'm just proud of her. She's, she's, she's stepping yeah, yeah. up. She's, she's, she's not useless anymore. Well, and this whole, I, 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 just, I so badly wish they'd kept the Willie of the script in this part, because she really, she is much more involved in than getting out but the jerry can she hands him a jerry can and the jerry can was actually invented by the nazis in the 1930s for military use for storing fuel oh, and i name. think that the nazis are here in pancot palace doing research oh. and my theory now is that <laughs> oh they gosh. actually might have invented the collie blood as a biological weapon oh. and they're down here <laughs> testing it out I think they invented Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this wow. way we get we get Nazis in Temple of Doom, so maybe we can all be happy again. Well, there then it go. all makes sense. Of course. I, you know, Nazis are always fine. a breath of fresh air. Yeah. <laughs> I'll shut my eyes and just listen to you, Pete. <laughs> 
Well, you know, you, you talk about the jerry can, and at fi- second 53, we see specifically that Pat Roach is recovering from a torn meniscus. And I'm thinking oh. it's probably an old rugby injury from his previous <laughs> life in the UK as an Anglican. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, I mean, because okay. Indy hits him with that jerry can to the knee, and it's like this colossus of a man yeah. just goes down yeah. like underwear on prom night. But he grabs his <laughs> turban when he's going down. Like, he grabs his hat. And I'm trying to figure, is he just trying to keep it on? Or is he like, oh, funny. my head. <laughs> well, that is his protection. His turban is protection? Yeah. His turban is oh. a protection. Yeah, prevent, pre, you know, it's like his hard hat. But a fashionable hard hat against falling rocks. <laughs> yeah. And it's like you keep talking about Indy's hat as he's like Samson. I guess it's the same with Pat Roach. Yeah. Oh, well, be. you could be right because actually those are some really stylish boots that he is wearing. <laughs> he is wearing some of the best looking boots in this yeah. entire movie. They have pointy toes. Yeah. They are clearly suede, which doesn't make a lot of sense if he's Hindu because he's supposed to be vegetarian. But True. then drinking blood is not such a, a hindu thing to do either, yeah. you know. But all these things are Anglican. Yeah, we that's true. What, we we what? we did uh, we did propose that he might be Anglican. I think Pete <laughs> did. <laughs> okay. Well. He might be Anglican and, you know. But yeah, I do Pete Pete wants those boots for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we'll work on They're that. Good boots. Yeah, for They're sure. We've been boots. working hard all year. He sure. deserves it. Um, I just want to quickly say that they literally cannot cut to short round without playing his theme song and it's not funny anymore. It's true. It's getting really great. I really like short round. I don't even hate his music. I, I think his theme is fine, but they can't it's comical how they cannot cut to him or have him do anything without playing that song. Just even like two <laughs> notes. Yep. <laughs> what do you think, Shorty? Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's like he's a mouse droid, just wandering around the, <laughs> just wandering around the movie. Yeah, maybe da, that's, da, da, da. that's diegetic. Like maybe he's just humming it the whole time. Oh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, I would. I had imagined that he'd be really annoyed. Like you know, he's trying to watch the the uh, screening of him, and he's like, "Oh, there's my music again." Oh. Music. Just stop with the music. It's like they know my mom's going to be watching. Mm. She'll be so proud. There's his music. <laughs> You know, what What would happen if the Maharaja plunged the knife into Indy's back and left it? Well, like, well, I, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. And the re- I had the same question because it is at least 17 minutes later. I mean, we've been talking about this. <laughs> 17 minutes in a row. And, uh, uh, you know, Tasha Robinson was the one who questioned the performative glee uh-huh. In uh, minute seventy six, <laughs> <Right. laughs> and um, or fourteen minutes or fifteen or sixteen, so like seventeen minutes later, and um, why why does the Maharaja keep doing this? Why doesn't he just finish him off? And the answer is because he has to be really 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 sadistic. Am I right? Uh-huh. That could be. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. That's kind of what it reads like. Like he like is like each it? impact, each stab is like fresh pain, and he's into that. He's yeah. He's, but he's then he takes the that. pin out. And um, then he he does it again, you know, yeah. and he lets uh, he lets uh, uh, Indiana Jones like escape up the conveyor belt a yeah. little bit, and then <laughs> yeah, like, oh, no, ah! it is a very <laughs> little kid thing to do though. Like he just loves watching the cause and effect. Yeah, I'm gonna take a magnifying glass. <laughs> so I didn't I this. didn't even know that he. Um, so I guess he's under the he's under the spell, but I actually can't tell. I cannot tell if he's under the spell of the Kalima or not, or if he's just this big a little. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, such and such. That'd be funny if it turned out that he was just a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> well, hold oh, that thought. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold that no, thought. Not, not skip ahead, but yeah. I figured if he left it in, like, that's how one would develop just lower chronic back pain. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's what happened to me. Somebody hates yeah. my guts and they, yeah. just, just, they have a doll of me somewhere. <laughs> Got a six foot voodoo doll. I have a, a question for Pete. Oh. Yes. Um, at second fifty-eight. Uh huh. Take a look at it. What is the writing on the wall? Oh, what does that I, was, say? I wasn't even going to ask. I was waiting for Pete to just bring it up. 
Yeah. Because I knew he would. <laughs> Pete, we know that you uh, can read Sanskrit and Hindi and, <laughs> and Sinhalese. Like looking up stuff. And <laughs> yeah, you do stuff, don't you? <laughs> you're, you're an Egyptologist or one of them things that looks up and reads stuff. <laughs> How does one say it? Obtainer of weird nerd minutiae. <laughs> God, I just let everybody down. Oh. <laughs> No, I, I kind of wondered that, but I didn't wonder. It's, to... I know what it says. Oh, good. Chrissy, thank God. It says employees must wash hands before they start to work. <laughs> no, I don't know what it says. 30 days without an accident. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> without a sacrifice? No. 30 days without a, without a sacrifice. It does look like Hindi, though, so it does look like it's just graffiti that somebody scrawled here re- recently. Mm-hmm. So it probably is like a work slogan, like, it probably just says Jaldi Caro, actually. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. In case, you, in case yeah. you forget. Pat just keeps reading that. That's why he keeps yeah. saying it. He keeps looking up. It's like, Jaldi yeah. Caro. He just learned how to read. And that's the only thing around, so he's all excited about it. <laughs> um, well, that's all I have. Is it? T- oh, is it time for uh, Christy Porter to telegraph him? Uh, a- oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something coming over oh. the wires. Wait, this what, is what? crazy. Hang on. Wait. <laughs> this just in from Mimi Porter. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, why doesn't the Maharaja bite off the Indies head? Indies head, Aussie style. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. that's a yeah. great question. That'd be a sick movie. Yeah. Yeah. What would happen to him? Would it, would his head just fall off, <laughs> or would it just hurt? Like would his neck just hurt? Oh, that's what, yeah. I or, think his or, neck or just, would just hurt. You're going to a coma maybe or something? Or <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm not going to get or? any sleep tonight now. <laughs> that's totally a Mimi question, by the way. If you, if you hadn't said so, I would have. If Christy weren't sitting here, I still would have known. <laughs> that's for me. Totally. You know what it was? The giveaway was the Aussie style. <laughs> yeah. <that's right. laughs> oh man. Well, on that note, now that we've gotten to Ozzy, um, Christy, do you have anything to plug? <laughs> Pl- uh, no. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what about that sexy neurology L306 seminar? <laughs> <You're teaching>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tickets still available. Yeah. You no, know, Jerry, you must be thinking of something else. <laughs> Sorry. Well. We'll, we'll post on the Listener's Crusade what the prerequisites are for that, and uh, we'll let you know, and you can get your syllabus in the mail. Um, <laughs> okay. But in the meantime, uh, Pete, where can people go to find uh, the syllabi for Christie's classes, or just stuff about Indiana Jones and his movies and his podcast fans? Yeah, you can check out our sexy neurology seminars if you come to our website, indianajonesminute.com. And I'm lying about that. We don't actually have any sexy seminars. But we do have trading cards, and you can see where you can find our Patreon if you want to hear us do the same thing about Jaws that we do about Indiana Jones. Wouldn't it be cool if Christy Porter showed up on that? Oh, my God, that would be amazing. That would be so cool. You like Jaws, don't you, Christy? We all know about you, Christy. <laughs> you don't like to go on podcasts at all, do you? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, all right. Please do all that, and please come back here tomorrow for Minute 92 of Temple of Doom here on the Indiana Jones Minute. <laughs> What's the matter with him? <laughs> <laughs>